everybody. It is a sunny day here in the villages, 81 degrees, not a cloud in the sky, a perfect day for a golf cart ride. Yeah, it is. And we're here at Lake Sumter Landing's golf cart store, the village's golf cart store. Um, we've been asked by some of our viewers to do a golf cart ride from Lake Sumter Landing to Spanish Springs. So we figured what a great day to do that. So that's what we're going to do. So you ready? I'm ready. Let's right, go. Let's go. All right. Hi, everybody. I'm Dave. And I'm Brenda. Today we are starting our golf cart ride here at the Village Golf Cart Store at Lake Sumter Landing. Uh, we're going to be cruising around, uh, showing you some sights and telling you some stories as we work our way to Spanish Springs Town Square. Uh, the Village Golf Cart Store is where we bought this cart from and uh, it, uh, this location. And down at Brownwood Paddock Square is where we bought our the second, second one. Yeah. Because you never know when I need to go somewhere different. Absolutely. <laughs> I need to go shopping or something. And we also we have a four seater and a two seater. So the four seater we have uh, when Brenda's mom is riding with us. And then we have the two seater when it's just the two of us. And like you said, it might go different locations. Yeah. I'm spinning around in this uh, lot that I wanted to show you here. This is a fairly large Barnes and Noble bookstore that they have here in the villages. It's very nice. Yeah. Pre-COVID, I guess it'll start back soon. Uh, there used to be lots of book signings at this location. If there was a major book that was uh, being published, if there was a book tour going on, they probably ended up here for book signings. We're going to work our way back into the we're on the outskirts of the town square. Um, we and, see, and we're doing this at lunch. I mean, we're starting near lunchtime, so you can see that a lot of the restaurants are going to have a lot of people sitting outside eating a late lunch. Yeah. Um, workman, that bus right in front of us, that Workman Transportation bus, that is a a shuttle service that runs to the airport. Um, I don't know the exact cost. I'm thinking it's around $40. Don't hold me to that uh, each way per person. And uh, that bus will take you to the Orlando airport. You can pick that up at, I think, all three town squares. That's the chop house on the right. People yeah. eating lunch. It smells so good. Yes, it does. <laughs> All right, we'll be working our way into the square. We're just gonna go, go straight through and out the other side, because that'll be our path as we start heading towards Spanish Springs. City Fire's doing a lot of lunch business. Yeah. Now on the right, this is the old mill uh, playhouse. Uh, it's the movie theater. But with COVID, there's not a lot of movies out. That's back open. How many it movies? It is open. Uh, Two or three? I don't know. I can't think. We're going backwards. Yeah. I'd say six or seven maybe. But there was a line getting tickets when we pulled in here first before we started the tour. Yeah. So they're being a little innovative. I think uh, they're trying to... And there's to... a restaurant there too, Lazy Mac. Yep, Lazy Mac's restaurant. And they're working on kind of making a little bit of comedy club at some of the movie theaters. Uh, you know, trying to think outside the box to keep the activity in there until there's more movies out there. Um, it's not that the movie theaters aren't open, they're, they're willing to show stuff, it's just there's not a lot of movies out right now until the movie industry catches up. And we passed Street of Dreams. We did, it was on the okay. left. Uh, there was a building on the left called Street of Dreams, and we've talked about you know our experience building our house. And, when you build a house, you go to the Street of Dreams where you pick out all of your items. That was the location of the Street of Dreams. They're building a new one now. In Brownwood. Yeah, that's going uh, be a very uh, large in comparison to this, this uh, building. It will. I've been watching them build it. It's going to be really pretty. Yeah. It's been under construction for probably a year or so, I guess, the, yeah. the Street of Dreams has. They're doing the outside of it now. And they just put up the sign about you know, the Street of Dreams, so yep. you know for sure that's what it is. All right, we're still going around the outskirts here. We went through the square, and we're heading towards Morse Boulevard, where we're going to pick up the uh, multimodal path 
following these carts. We're going northbound. This is just such a pretty area. I love going by the lake here. It's like they freshened the flowers up again in front of us. Oh, yeah. Every 90 days, those flowers are replanted. Changed uh, the colors for the different seasons. Not that our temperatures change that much for the seasons here, but <laughs> we do get different color flowers. Now we're on uh, the Morse Mor Mor Boulevard path. And the speed limit for the bridge is 10 miles an hour. And this one, the main reason this one's a little slower, um, this was one of the first bridges early in the, the building process. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of thin, so we're trying to keep the speeds down uh, just so we don't flip a mirror on somebody. Yes. I love the villages, but this probably isn't my favorite bridge to drive across. I'll be honest with you. It's not bad because nobody's coming at us. But when you're when you're passing, it's it's tight. Oh, There's a little parking here. lot. I'm not I've sure. seen people park over here, especially at sunset. Yeah, this uh, has great views of sunset. Let me see if I can get uh, it in the in the view. Oh, yeah. I think I got it in there. Yeah. You're looking across Lake Sumter. Past that lighthouse is where the square is at. Um, the golf course is over to the right. That's the Arnold, Arnold Palmer Legends uh, Championship courses. Um, I haven't played over there, but, but I hear that's just great views. As I can imagine, looking this direction, it looks beautiful. So um, this, like you said, this looking west. So great sunsets here. Uh, in fact, I see a little sign, probably not on the camera, actually called the Sunset Park. Very appropriate. Yeah. All right, let's continue on. Oh, got my microphone hung there. All right, I think that's clear. Yeah. Hopefully you can hear me. <laughs> that's a loud beep. I might be going out the entrance, but nobody's here. All right, back on the back. I think we're fine. Yeah. Now we'll continue across this bridge. This is, it's kind of in two pieces. This is the second part of the bridge. I'm yes. looking for alligators. I don't see any swimming on top of the water right now. Yeah, it's a, even though it's a, it's a large body of water, it's got a lot of alligators. There's a tour you can take, a little boat. Um, gosh, I don't know what they call that thing. But basically, it's, a, it's a, a little tour boat. You can ride around, it's like a 30 minute ride around this lake and you can go right up to the edge of the wildlife up here yeah it only costs two or three dollars i think yeah. but if you have friends in town um it's a neat little thing to to go out oh it's so pretty to get out there yeah and they'll give you some of the details on the alligators they had the statistics on them oh they did i don't remember them but i remember there was a lot of alligators all right so we're back on the main part of the multimodal path still along morse boulevard We're gonna cut through this tunnel that's coming up, and it's labeled, so we'll just follow it. Morse Boulevard path north. If you were to go straight, that's gonna to curve to the left and go for two or three miles, or well, probably not that far, maybe a mile or two, to get to Buena Vista uh, Trail. And if you remember, we've talked about before, Buena Vista Trail and Morse Boulevard are the two northbound or north and south uh, aimed roadways. To get you from one place to another. Yeah. Those are your main paths. Morse is on the east side, Buena Vista is on the west side. And the neighborhood up here to your right is Mission Hills. They've got a beautiful view of the of Lake Sumter. And that house there, I don't know if you noticed that it had uh, a nice pool overlooking out this way, but it didn't have a bird cage. It's a little different. Most people have a bird cage. They go in and there's open air. Now this lake here, there's somebody fishing. I caught a glimpse of them as we went by. 
you can fish in, in these ponds throughout the uh, villages. They do have fish in them. Um, smaller fish like sunfish, and uh, from what I understand, they do have bass. But I see people fishing this one a lot. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking yeah. this one must have, have better, fish, <laughs> better fish than some. <laughs> this tunnel here is going underneath of 466. 466 is a east-west road that um, draws a line kind of when you come across 466 you're into the what we call the, the Spanish Springs area we're not at the town square but this is the Spanish Springs side of the road and you can tell just because of the architecture and the way that things are decorated it really has that Spanish feel we're looking at the back of a sign but even the signs have the, the clay uh, shingle type and the colors thing. all Up here on the right is the J.E. Parker Wildlife Preserve. And I love this little bridge. I just think this is so quaint. So all that preserve is on the right-hand side here. Lots of lily pads. back over and we're actually going to get on Morse Boulevard. Now most of Morse Boulevard you cannot take a golf cart on. This area north of 466 you have to go on uh, this road from where we're at. You have to go on Morse Boulevard. In the golf cart path. In the golf cart, yeah. The, uh, track, the speed limit drops when you get on this side down to 30 miles an hour. You'll see on that sign there uh, for the cars. South of 466 is 35 miles an hour, and you can only take a golf cart, uh, a non-street um, legal golf cart. This is just a regular golf cart, nothing street legal about it. You can take those on roads that are 30 miles per hour or less. So that's why the golf cart's on here. On the right was Village de la Vista. All the names are very Spanish too. If you had plenty of time on your hands and you want to take a scenic route, there are ways to avoid taking Morse Boulevard, but most people just come straight up uh, Morse to get to Spanish Springs. Um, this this road here is a little busier than most that crawl carts are on. So if you wanted to avoid it, it's a quite a long ways around, but you can go up Buena Vista uh, Boulevard, with way over on the western side of the villages, up to El Camino, and there's a golf cart path there to come across. We may do that someday. Uh, do another ride for that area. It'll be show scenic. You, something, yeah, yeah. Show you something there. It's uh, this here is probably only 10 or 15 minutes. Where going around that way is probably won't be. I'm guessing 30 to 45 minutes. It's a long ways around. But on a pretty day, I mean, that would be a nice ride. Yeah, we've done it a couple times. You notice up here, north, the northern section of the villages, the trees are much more established. You know, they've had years to grow in. Um, some of these have been here long before the villages, but the plant, things that have been planted have been able to really grow in, take hold. And this is the village of Rio Ponderosa. Yeah. We just passed the D.W. Matthews Family Wildlife Preserve, and we're getting ready to go to the Richard L. Murray Wildlife Preserve. Lots of preserves up here. It's yeah. really nice. We'll see it in just a few minutes. Now, always be careful at these intersections. Cars should be watching that are turning right. Um, we had the right of way to go, but never take a chance. Keep an eye and make sure nobody's trying to turn to go in front of you there. Again, this probably this isn't my favorite road to be taking the golf cart on. And when we 
we get up here, I'll show you the path that I take to get to Spanish Springs. Uh, we cut through a neighborhood. It's kind of a more direct route. There's lots of shortcuts. In fact, it's where the Village Golf Cart app will take you. If you use that, it's going to send you through the uh, shortcut that we're going to take. I'm hoping one day, and I, this is just me wishing, um, I haven't seen anywhere that they were going to do it, but I think there's enough room on the side of this road for them to someday maybe put multimodal path. I think that would be great to have that along Morse Boulevard. That's the only thing I don't like of this this ride, this direction. Right, you just took a right onto Navarro Lane off of Morse, and now you're going to take a left on Lisbon Lane. Or it was, it was Navarro Court to Lisbon Lane. So when they want to get off of Morris, this is the shortcut. I've got carts behind me. i got one coming this way. So this is a, a well-traveled path. Yeah. Shortcut over to Spanish Springs. Yeah. We're going north on Lisbon Lane. There's another example of a tree. That palm tree there has been planted for a while. Yeah. So the southern part of the village is you don't see anything quite that tall and mature yet. And this is a right on Panama Place. Look at the cactus. Oh, wow. Yeah. So the temperature out here is in the 80s. People out on their motorcycles. I've okay. seen a lot of walkers and bicycles earlier, too. Yeah. The houses to the left are on pond there, their waterfront property. We just passed the uh, villa, Villa Mesa. And that golf cart path that we just yes. did to the right, someday I'll go down that one. That might be and fun. We'll explore. A fun we'll adventure explore because I have days. no idea how to navigate that path and where it ends up. So, so we'll take you along with us so yeah. we, can, we can find out together. That could be a fun tour. Most right. of these, I know where I'm going. Let's go somewhere I don't know where I'm going. Okay, you take a, you're going to take a left on the Del Mar Drive. It's a little busy here. There's another piece of that golf cart path. Yeah, that'll be a good day to explore. Yeah. And that's the only turns you have to make. And then we'll keep going straight and you'll end up in Spanish Springs. Which is straight ahead of us. And this is a four-way stop. Now they had the Cinco de Mayo celebration up here, May 5th, and uh, here they did it at Spanish Springs, so that would be very appropriate. So it was a lot of fun. We didn't get any, any video that day, but it, it was a nice event. They had the village twirlers and stilt walkers and vendors and food and dancers. It was definitely a celebration. Now in these squares, there's little placards. Um, you're talking like historical markers you would find in, in localities that are set up with little stories of, of each of the buildings. And they have that at each town square, don't they? They what? Then, don't they have those at each town square? Yes. Uh -huh. um, but the stories <laughs> are actually creative history. Yes. I found that out and it's um, from the imagination because as you know this these places you know have been built uh, not hundreds of years ago but in the last what a couple um, decades for this yeah, one. Yeah so I mean to like see the dates and all that and to find out the creative history and the imagination of you know what this of uh, um, how this was developed and all is just really, really 
Yeah. Cute. For like, uh, I've enjoyed walking around and reading the placards. Over there, you see the fountain. Uh, it was Ponce de Leon. The fountain you know, of youth. Founded the, the fountain of youth here. And you know, it's some it's, of those are obviously fun. fun stories. Yeah. Some of them are a little more believable. And you have to wonder. It's like, all right, is this true or is it not? But we were we were told by the tour guide that it was creative history. So we're gonna enjoy the imagination and. Um, Go by what was told to us, what, but it um, is fun to read the placards. The facades and things on the buildings here, this is all built by the same uh, company or design by the same group that did um, Disney World. So, you know, it has a lot of that, uh, you know, feel, well, uh, magical feel to it, I guess you call it. Well, what I had heard was that, like, a lot of times, like, on these side roads and all, it'll be a lot of you'll see you'll be on a lot of curves because you're, it's just your natural tendency to think well what's around the bend what's around the curve and then as you come around the curve you see something else and something else so yeah. just the, everything was has a lot of thought behind it and a lot of detail behind it and it just makes the experience that much more interesting yeah. but i mean that, that's what i started looking at i'm like okay how many curves are here and i mean even on the street that we live on there's like a little curve to go to the cul-de-sac. So, I mean, it's just, everything is, I, I, I appreciate all the work that's been put into trying to make a, um, a unique experience, a fun experience, something that, you know, you just totally enjoy all the time. A lot of people still eating lunch. <laughs> oh, we'll ride through a couple of little places here. We'll end at Here's the- Here's the bowling alley. That's, yeah, that's where I was going uh, for. Is right that it? Right on the right, yeah. Okay. This is it right here. Trying to get where the sign is at. It's, yeah, Here Spanish Spring Plains. Yep, yeah, this is bowling. Yeah, it's fairly decent. I haven't been in there. Um, used to bowl some, but I have not been in here. But it's a fairly popular place. We need to go. Yeah. We need to go. Now that Spanish COVID Spring is Plains. over, we need to go. I'll take you on. Yeah. And we're... In this area up here, we're up against Route 441. Yes. Yeah, 441. Uh, and that's where a lot of the shopping is at, as Brenda enjoys. I, yeah, I knew this was 441. I like coming up here and shopping. So we'll pull in oh, there to the left, kind of like a little depot there. If you can see it or not on that camera, but. That's the other place that buses will come in, like for tours, pick up. Uh, that's where the workman transportation would be. Now, this is just one of the many shopping centers throughout the villages where people can uh, get their groceries and all. This one's a little unique in that it has a Publix and it has, I think it's a Winn-Dixie up there. Yes. Two, I, I haven't been in a shopping center that has two grocery stores in the same shopping strip strip mall so apparently people need a lot of food right here <laughs> <laughs> well there are a lot of villages here and this little shopping center they had a little golf cart parking there their own little, little golf cart parking. little corral you yes, can pull your golf cart in right at the front of the store yes you got the spa and the nails and the groceries and the furniture and you've got belk up here and hallmark and bath and body I mean, you can, you can get pretty much anything you want right here. Now, all along this road, now you can't get to all of them by golf cart, but this is where you'll find, too, your Walmarts, uh, your Home Depots. Sam's Club. Sam's Club, Best Buy, you know, pretty much all your Michaels, main, major retailers. This is the road Target, it's going to be on. What was this? PetSmart. I mean, you can get all those, everything that you can think of, 441. I haven't, I, all the stores that I was so familiar with back in Virginia, I found them all up here in yeah. 441. So I'm not missing out on anything that I know of. Besides Envy, Hallmark, Daryl's Diner. There's a chicken, some, chicken salad chick. I've heard great things about that. I didn't know where it was. Now we know. Now we know. I've seen Hair a studio. lot of things people talk about it. I think I love just going someplace and just riding around and seeing what's there. And then you get your perspective where to go back. So now 
hour. Oh, there's a music. Rock and... Oh, that's a laundromat. Rock and wash. <laughs> there you go. And, and here's the Winn-Dixie yeah, you were talking second about. Second grocery store. And the, the parking lot in front of this one's full, too. The Publix was busy. This one's busy. here to the another of the village's golf cart stores. They've got them in each of the town squares. Oh, this is Ace Hardware we just passed on the right. Yeah, yeah there aren't many hardware stores you can get to by golf cart. Sewing studio. They got stuff on all the Look at that tables. paint job there. Oh, that's right. I started doing that's different right, things. Oh, look at that. That's some fancy paint. Yeah. And this also uh, has uh, a filling station yeah. over straight across. That's so cute. So you can pull your golf cart and in service. and gas up. It's service and gas. Yeah. All right. We have made it to our destination. So we've come Pulling from one golf, golf store to the other. Yeah, and we have a full tank of gas. We started with one. We're still doing good. All right. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you on our next ride. We made it. Yep, I hope you enjoyed that ride from Lake Sumter all the way up here to Spanish Springs. Uh, do us a favor if you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up if you would. Also subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate you, the subscribers that are out there. You help us a whole lot. Uh, and ring the bell and it'll notify you the next time we explore the villages.